Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to implement a circular scene switching animation in JavaFX. So as you can see in here, we have first scene with a button and when the button is pressed, the second scene is loaded with an animation like a circle expanding animation. So without further ado, let's get started. So let us start our coding. Here you can see the sample project I have created. Uh, this is without the animation. It just has two scenes. And when I, this is the first scene. And when I click on the load scene two button, you can see that the second scene is loaded without any animation. So uh, this is just a bare bone project. I have just created a new project in uh, my IDE and added two simple scenes. I will just walk you through the code and we will see how to implement the circular transition and uh, circular and uh, transition. So uh, here you can see that uh, I have two FXML files. The, this is the first scene and it has a uh, root container like a stack pane as the root container and a content container which is actually the content of the scene one the second scene is also just an empty scene and it just has one container and the scene two i mean the content is just a label here so uh, for each scene we have two controllers scene one controller is here and this is the function that is currently loading the second scene when the button is clicked so i will just show you again uh, the code here you can see that uh, this button handler is this function we are simply loading uh, the second scene and the second scene controller is actually empty nothing is there because uh, it just shows a label and nothing more so we will be converting uh, or we will be updating this load scene to function so that it will load the second scene in a circular fashion so let us start our coding here so the first thing that we need to change here is uh, currently we are setting the entire root here so we will have to make a small adjustment into that so the first thing that we are going to do is to take this fxml loader dot load function outside and we need that uh, we need the second scene parent here so we will just add it like this pain pain equals fxml loader load load i have used the pain class here because uh, as you can as you know all the containers we have like here we have the vbox so vbox is a uh, child of pain uh, i mean it extends from pain so even if it is stack pain or any other kind of pain we can just use it like with the pain here so uh, we will just take the uh, uh, we will load the view into a pain then for the circular transition the idea we are going to use here is to set a shape for the pain okay so uh, what we need to do first is uh, first we need to add this pain into our root container here of the first scene so this root container is actually from the scene one and scene one the topmost container or the most parent here is the root container so we are adding this pane into the root container so root container get children dot add pane so we we have added our second scene pane here then we need to set up something so the first thing that we need to here do here is to set a shape so here uh, you can see that we have a shape option for every node so here for a uh, 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 for this pane we can set a shape so regarding the shape we will be setting up a circular shape initially so we will set a small circular shape for the pane and then we will increase the circles radius so that we will get a nice expanding effect so first we will set create a circle new circle uh, with a radius so here we can specify an initial radius here i will just give a 50 50 pixel as the radius so it will start from 50 and then expand so a uh, uh, circle uh, we have given that and then here we need to set up the shape a pain dot set shape and here we need to set the circle as the shape so this is scene 2 and scene 2's initial shape we set into a circle now what we need to do is to uh, uh, create an animation so for that we will create a timeline object so new timeline 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 and here we need to do two things so the first thing we need to create is a key value so uh, uh, 
uh, in Java FX time animation timeline animation you need a key value and a keyframe so we are giving a key value here so key value key value equals and here we need to specify like what we are going to animate so here we are of course animating the radius of the circle so we will give circle dot radius property and here we need to specify what should be the end value so the end value depends upon the size of your stage in my case uh, in this example we are making use of a 800 by 800 uh, a pixel wide dialog so you know that uh, if we set a radius to maximum 400 then it will fit all the edges so uh, here you can set it like uh, 400 uh, because uh, I mean in our case it is an 800 by 800 dialog so I am just giving the value uh, into value 400 there uh, then we need to specify an interpolator. So we have multiple interpolator for animation. Uh, the first one I think will be an ease in or a ease out animation interpolator. So we just use ease in. If you have confusion on this interpolator, check some of the tutorials I have created on JavaFX animation. I have a series of tutorial on animation in this channel. So uh, there I have explained what is an interpolator is. So we have created a key value. Then we need a keyframe. So we will just create a keyframe and here we need to specify the duration of the animation so here let us say the animation should happen within one second so uh, it will be like quick enough but we can see the animation so we will set it to one second and here we need to give the key value so i just give the value uh, i mean i just pass the key value here into this keyframe then the next thing we need to add is like uh, we need to add <coughs> this key keyframe into the timeline so i will just add that sorry uh, uh, I just add the keyframe into the timeline so timeline get keyframes dot add keyframe then in order to start the animation we just call timeline dot play so this is the bare bone we need to make some more things here uh, make some more adjustment here if we run the program right now you will see some issues so let us see what happens right now so uh, we have the scene one button and when i click on scene two you can see that the scene two directly loaded to the whole size of the window i mean the animation didn't kick in i mean the scene two is loaded but two problems are here uh, the animation didn't work also the scene one didn't got re removed from the uh, uh, first uh, for uh, the scene one content is not removed so what we need to do here is that uh, currently this circles radius is properly handled but we need to add one more thing to make the root container like sorry the pane accept the radius properly so here we need to add some more changes like whenever the circles radius changes we, we will get a call back call back in the radius property listener so here we will add a radius property change listener and whenever the uh, radius of the circle is changed we need to set the height and width uh, of the pane like the scene to content so for that uh, as you know like radius into two we will get a if, if we multiply the radius then we will get a rectangle that fits the circle so uh, let me create a double value here double uh, size equals a new value is the new radius so i will just multiply by two so we got the size then here we need to specify the minimum width maximum width and preferred width of the pane the scene to pane so pane dot set minimum size i set the width and height to the height to include the uh, circle then similarly we need to repeat it for min size pref size and max size so we have configured that and we can convert this into a lambda function so that the code will look more cleaner now let us run the program again and now if we execute it you can see that the animation is now working now the uh, now we need the next thing we need to do is to remove the content actual scene one contents once the scene two is loaded 
so let us do that for that we need to wait until the animation is completed like only after the animation is completed we need the first scene to be seen content to be removed so we can add a callback like this uh, like timeline dot set on finished we need an event handler so whenever the animation is over as soon as the animation is over we need to remove the content container from the root container so i will tell you why because if you go into the scene one you can see that this is the root container and to this container we are adding the contents of the scene two so this is the v box which is actual uh, this green thing that we are seeing here so uh, we need to remove this content container from the root container so uh, i let us do that so when the animation is completed root container get children remove and then we will remove the content container okay now let us run the program again so this time as you can see that after the scene 2 is loaded the uh, scene 1 content is removed now we need to do one more thing currently scene 2 is loaded but the problem here is that the scene 2 is still in a circular shape but we don't want that right like we need that in a rectangular shape itself so as soon as the animation is complete we need to remove the special shape from the scene 2 pane and make it rectangular again rectangle again so that can be easily done here you can see here that we set the shape using pane dot set shape circle so here after the animation is complete pane dot set shape then we can sit, simply set the shape to null so it will it will not have any shape so by default the shape is rectangle okay now uh, let us uh, run the program again scene 2 is getting loaded and here you can see that uh, the scene 2 is properly loaded and the uh, rectangular shape is restored so let me show you this again yes so our uh, animation scene loading animation is now complete so that's it guys that's how you implement a circular loading transition into your javafx program uh, before stopping i would like to show you some more adjustment we can do so in the interpolator you can make uh, make use of some other interpolator so that the animation looks a bit different like it is uh, so you can maybe try a linear one or ease out something like that you can also change the duration so if you want a quicker loading then you can maybe give this to 0.7 seconds then let us try that load scene 2 and now it is a little bit more faster so if you make it to half a second let us try giving half a second then it is much more faster also if you want to change the initial circle then you can change the value here from 50 to something else so that's it so thank you for watching this video i'll see you on the next one bye